G'day! In today's video, I'm replacing the thermal paste on a GTX 1080 Ti Founders Edition. Now to get to the cooler, I believe, is a very odd method. I'm pretty sure this section here has to come off rather than the whole thing. So to begin with, I want to take out these screws here, here, potentially that one, and the same on the other side and then the four screws on the back. So let's go. Let's see what we need for this particular one. Uh, I have a T10 screw, screw that fits there. Granted, it probably isn't really designed for it, but it's working perfectly fine, so we'll proceed with that. Now, of the coolers for the 1080s, or the 1080 Ti's, these probably are about the worst, considering you get dual, uh, dual fan, cards, something like this MSI right here, and also the ROG Strix which also has three fans, so we are slightly different with that one, T10 won't cut it for there, let's see what we'll cut, and it's going through my collection now, mm, you, 2.5, nope, no good. Let's get out some other screws. Nope, too chunky. Not chunky enough. Hmm. Let's proceed and get out more. Because why not? Because we can. There we go, that fits it. Which is a... T8H. Granted, there's probably one that's more suitable for that, but as I said, this will do for the purpose that we want to undo two of these screws that aren't overly torqued down that much. Go. Same with up here. Go. And if I flip this over and undo these four screws here with a standard Phillips head screwdriver, we should be able to get into it. Or at least, fingers crossed. I'm hoping we don't have to remove the back plate on this one. Go. There's four of those out of the way. Now if I flip it over, what's going to happen? Not much yet. Then we shall continue. What else have we got here? This one here. We'll give this a shot as well. Over here too. Get that out of the way. What's going on here? Oh, not enough of it. Does certainly feel solid. When in doubt, continue unscrewing. Yeah, I wonder if this is all one piece. And then I look at it, it probably makes sense that it is. And there's probably one on the other side. Yep. Go. This cover want to come off now? Nope. Ah, I have movement. What is holding it? Is it by ancient thermal paste? Is it some mythical force? Is it these screws along the front here that look to connect the bracket on there? I'll go with prying. It does seem to be lifting it. Nope. Let's proceed with more screws. Now, no, 
Let's take these ones out here and see where we end up. I don't believe it's those screws at the front or on the back that are holding it in. I may be completely wrong, but let's see where we get to. One, two, three. There's a fourth one there, but mine's missing for some reason. Ah, those ones were giving it grief. We lift up, we pull forward. We have had a decorative one right here. Turns out most of those other screws I undid was not overly necessary. And we have this weird thermal, I'd almost describe it as a thermal cartridge, being how small it is compared to the other coolers I've seen of the 1080 Ti's. We'll flip that over and we'll put some isopropyl alcohol on it. Grab some tissue paper. Get this shining to a mirror level, or at least as close as we can get. Okay, maybe making fun of the cartridge, but the actual cooler itself does have a, quite a shine to it. Low down there. Now we need to clean the die. Same method here. Go over it. Now I do like to go over it with a toothbrush as well, just to clean around those capacitors. A very fine one. I'd be quite surprised if it manages to knock any of them off. There we go. Let's go over it with the tissue paper once more. see one cooler there we go now I'm going to put some thermal paste uh, deep cool Z5 thermal paste on there once I find where I've put it on my workbench put it on here smear it around a little bit there we go put the cap back on use its little spatula to smear it around I find with this, no matter what you do with thermal paste, you are wrong on the internet. You think you've done it 100% right, you're wrong. Everyone's an expert. I'll be a monster and just dab this around. I like to make it so all the shiny parts are no longer shiny on the silicon chip. It's the easiest way to describe it. There we go. Pretty happy with that. Give me a like if you dislike my thermal paste. And give me a like if you liked my thermal paste. Let's put that down. Put this back in. Feed him over. And normally I like to see the cooler from the other side. See, so this is a little bit more challenging. So I'm going to hold it there with one hand, put a couple of screws in with the other, just so it kind of stays there. Get the diagonals going. This one's not quite wanting to go in. I need to, there we go. Need to put more pressure on it. Brilliant. And this one over here. here and now they're mostly finger tight there we'll just be forced and so now I'll tighten up the diagonals there we go that cooler is now on now we need to put the cover back on granted some of this might as well give it a clean while it's here nope not that one I'll use a microfiber cloth put it clean from the inside I think this would almost look pretty cool with like an RGB strip inside of here, lighting up on the graphics card. <sighs> Completely pointless, but you've got this weird duct going on. 
I reckon that'll look kind of cool. Now I do need to use the larger of the T screwdrivers to put this back on. So I'll switch back to the T10, I believe I had. This one here, T10, yep. Go, magnetic screwdrivers are the way. They are the future. There we go, put that one back on. Now it should kind of stay there. Brilliant. Move this down slightly. And proceed. Ooh. The tip may be magnetic, but the screwdriver head is not. And there. So, next one, there we go, now this cover slots in down here, pushes down up here, there we go, found enough of these screws along the front here, I did need to remove them also, two screws, two screws, so six screws holding this in total. I'll switch back to my T8. And I might even just grab a different driver as these screws being quite bothersome. Go. One. Two. Over here. Three. Four. Now let's tip it outside. Six. So this one here, it was actually required. <laughs> Alright, let's just loosely sit in there. Put this black one over here, which was also required. Had to pull it together there a bit more. So let's start going in. Next up, we've got this other screw over here. There we go, that one. Let's stand it upright. We're nearing the end. We've got to put the three screws along the front and the remaining three screws along here. And then we're looking pretty good. One observation with this compared to the other other ones that I've seen, for example, the uh, the MSI 1080 Ti Gaming X, this one requires a six and an eight, where the other ones that I've seen, a Rogue Strix and the Gaming X, do require two eights. So just a neat little observation there. And lastly, three screws across the front, which weren't overly Necessary. One. Two. And three. Anyway, that's the extended way to replace the thermal paste on your GTX 1080 Ti Founders Edition. Hope that helps, and I'll see you later. Bye.